immunoprecipitation, and coaminoprecipitation. What is immunoprecipitation? Immunoprecipitation is a widely used small scale method for antigen detection and purification. This technique is used to isolate a single protein. How does immunoprecipitation work? Immunoprecipitation uses the binding mechanism between antigens, which are the target molecule, and antibodies, which are the molecules that bind to the antigen and are primarily utilized in the body to detect foreign molecules. Why is coimmunoprecipitation different? Coimmunoprecipitation, or protein complex immunoprecipitation, is an extension of regular immunoprecipitation that targets a protein complex for isolation, as opposed to just a single protein. Coimmunoprecipitation uses many different types of buffers to decrease the chances of disassociating the complex. The first step in immunoprecipitation is to lyse the target cells into a cell lysis buffer to create a cell lysate containing the target protein. The initial cells are placed within a test tube and a chosen cell lysis buffer is added to the test tube. This lysis buffer makes the initial cell explode, exposing the internal proteins, which can be seen in the tube, as the squares, hearts, and triangles. For this animation, our target protein is going to be the squares. An antibody that is specifically chosen to bind to the target protein, or antigen, is added to the solution and allowed to bind to the antigen of interest. As you can see in the tube, the Pac-Man binding to our target protein, the squares. After our antibody binds to the target protein, protein beads, which can be seen as the green star shapes, are added in order to cause a separation of masses between all the proteins in the tube. Once the, beads bind, once the beads bind to the antibody and antigen, the tube is then centrifuged so that our target protein precipitates to the bottom of the tube. Next, the supernatant, which can be found on top of the tube, is then removed. After the supernatant is removed, you resuspend and elute the mixture in order to remove the antibody and the bead from the antigen. Following the resuspension and elution, you centrifuge the tube to get the antigen to the top of the tube. Then, the supernatant can be removed and put into a separate tube, which can be seen as the squares are moved from the tube on the left to the tubes on the right. The antigen can then be looked at further through gel electrophoresis. The main difference between immunoprecipitation and coimmunoprecipitation is that coimmunoprecipitation isolates the protein complex, which can be two or more proteins bound together, whereas immunoprecipitation just isolates a single protein. The first step in coimmunoprecipitation is to lyse the target cells within a cell lysate buffer. Just like in the immunoprecipitation, the initial cells are placed within a test tube, and a chosen cell lysate buffer is added to the test tube. This lysate buffer makes the initial cell explode, exposing the internal proteins, which can be seen in the tube as the hearts, triangles, and as the orange complex. For this animation, our target protein is the orange complex. Next, the antibody, which is the blue Pac-Man, binds to the antigen, and the, and the rest of the steps are followed the same as they were in the immunoprecipitation. The only difference is that the complex is isolated instead of a single protein. Some basic research uses following IP or COIP are to investigate the identity of proteins by setting them to be sequenced or ran on a gel. By using sequencing methods and proteomics, the final structure of the protein can be found. Another way it is used is by using protein analysis during different stages of protein activation. The level of exp expression can also be determined. The last thing that the isolated protein or protein complexes can be used for in research is to find the oxidation state of the protein, which is also known as a modification state. In summary, immunoprecipitation is used to isolate a single protein from the rest of the proteins, whereas coimmunoprecipitation is used to isolate a protein complex from the rest of the proteins. Immunoprecipitation and coimmunoprecipitation are both used as a process by which target proteins or protein complexes are isolated from a cell lysate so they can be further analyzed separately.